Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely day. Today we're going to be reading an announcement from the blind community on Reddit. This video has a lot more to it than what it seems to in the beginning. There's actually some really good business lessons to learn from this, and I'm probably going to be able to tell from the comments who watched the video and got the point, and who missed it completely and wanted to anti-virtue signal in the comments. And we're going to see that, and I'm hoping that there's more people that actually do listen to the overall arching lesson, because this is a lesson that I had to learn the hard way. It took me about four and a half, five years, and it cost me tens of thousands of dollars when I was in my emotions, and I was angry at something, and I was making decisions based on that rather than making decisions that made sense. I'm finally starting to understand, I think, why the CEO of Reddit is actively destroying his website and his brand, and, it, and I want to get into that in this video. So I've been talking about this in many videos. Reddit is killing their brands in the worst possible way, the absolute TLDR of that. They're making a bunch of changes to the website. They're making a bunch of API changes in the attempt to become profitable. It's not the changes that are being made. It's the way they're being rolled out that is destroying the site. The lack of notice for developers, the lack of any sort of negotiation or working back and forth to make things work for some of the largest third-party applications that many people utilize for moderation because the Reddit application itself is kind of hot trash. I stopped using it a long time ago. I would just go to old.reddit.com in my browser because the Reddit application would take so long to load. You would click a Reddit link and like 50 seconds later, it was still loading and it would load in the browser if I opened it in old.reddit in Firefox almost immediately. Anyway, to the point here. This says they finally did it. Reddit made it impossible for blind Redditors to moderate their own sub. Now, many of you have low opinions of Reddit moderators and I understand that. That's for a lot of the political subs, news subs, and things like that. That's the case. When it comes to these really niche communities like radio repair or blind, the moderators tend to be a little less of uh, your stereotypical Reddit moderator. So hopefully that can be kept in mind for the purposes of this video. Since the latest accessibility update to the Reddit application, the amount and magnitude of new accessibility-related bugs has made it virtually impossible for blind moderators to operate on mobile. We have done absolutely everything we could to work with Reddit and have given them every opportunity. When they offered to host a demo of the update, we understood how little they understood about accessibility. They did not respond to a request to use the application with a screen curtain on. The only fair conclusion is that they cannot use it without sight but they expect us to. So a screen curtain is something that would allow you as a sighted person to use an application the same way that somebody who cannot see is. It forces you to be put in the shoes of your users. This is basic leadership 101. Can you understand what it is like to be your own employee? Can you understand what it is like to be your own customer? And this is something that, let's be real here, uh, Steve Huffman has no desire to learn and no skill in. I don't think Steve Huffman has ever placed himself in the shoes of either his users or his employees. That is blatantly clear from his actions. You should be able to do that. The, again, to say that we are going to make this application better for blind people and then not be willing to use it with a screen curtain on, like, bruh. But what about the accessibility apps? They may not work. At this time, it's impossible to log into Red Reader. They shouldn't have to work. Reddit made a clear business decision to effectively remove users' access to third-party apps. What now for r slash blind? Let's be clear, r slash blind cannot be moderated by blind people at this point in time. Reddit has a single path forward. As Rumster, founder of Blind and a CPWA certified professional of web accessibility told Reddit and Mins on our first meeting, Reddit needs to hire a CPWA. Now let's get into requirements. I will be able to tell who watched the entire video from the comments on this point on. To build the required internal structure and processes and create an accessible platform, Reddit must create and fill the position of a chief accessibility officer. This role must have oversight over development as well as the ability to set up internal and public Reddit policy. This person should have the ability to halt any corporate strategy or initiative within Reddit as a company and slash or any feature, update, etc. to the Reddit website and slash or apps until they believe the impact on accessibility for disabled Redditors by said strategy, initiative, feature, update, etc. Reddit must commit to ensuring training and certification of all developers responsible for accessible and inclusive design. Lead developers must be trained and certified, at least to the level of web accessibility specialists, and as issued by the International Association of Accessibility Professionals, but ideally should hold a certified professional of web accessibility, CPWA. That is a lot of acronyms. Implement a single dedicated point of contact for accessibility and disability issues. Now, I'm not even going to finish reading the entire thing because I know what most of you are thinking. Who the hell does this? Surely not me. There's no way that Lewis has done this for his own website. You are correct. Doesn't that make me a hypocrite? Somebody who pretends to care but doesn't actually care. This is something we went over in this video over here. No, because there's a difference. They would have not had to do any of this 
because somebody else already did all this work. Somebody put all of the work necessary into creating an application that works fine with screen or not. Somebody else made this platform usable for other people. They did the hard work, research and development, dealing with their users, figuring out how this works for members of the blind community. Every single one of these problems has been solved. Somebody else did it. Steve Huffman did not have to do anything on this list. All he had to do is work with somebody who had already created all of this and come up with a solution that worked for all parties that allowed him to rake in money hand over fist and that allowed these applications to in some way, shape, or form still exist. He did not do that. Instead, he decided to blow it up and destroy it. My website? <laughs> Probably not blind accessible. I'm not hiring Alphabet Soup. I have six employees, and the people that are professionals in these particular tasks probably pay themselves more than I pay myself for my own company. I am not suggesting that they need to hire all of these people, because I haven't even hired all these people. But here's what I can say. If somebody came to me and built this infrastructure for me and created something out of nothing, I would try and work with them to ensure that that continued to exist in a way that's beneficial to both of us, rather than saying, this high price is going to take effect at this date, like a month from now. And if you don't like it, one is leadership, one is not. I know what you're saying. Why should Reddit have to do all these things? Why should they have to hire an alphabet soup of acronyms to make sure the website is accessible when 99% of the people haven't done that? That's the red herring. You're missing the point. They didn't have to. Somebody else already did all of this work. I don't think that what's driving the decision making right now is even a desire to make more money. I honestly think that this is business road rage. This is the business version of that car cut me off. I don't care if it's raining. I don't care if the speed limit's 65 and I'm going 115. I don't care if I'm driving a hoopty. I don't care if it's illegal to cut in between people like this. And I don't even know what I'm going to do when I catch that car. I'm mad. Something went off inside my lizard brain that probably made a lot of sense 100,000 years ago when we were cavemen holding clubs in caves and that guy stole my food and I was pissed off at him. That doesn't really make sense when you're driving a car in 2023 or trying to run a business. And the reason I say this is because I have been there. I don't know exactly what it's based on, but I have felt that at my own business. There are many times in the past, and I will admit certain times in the present, where I have made decisions that were not the best decisions because I was angry at somebody, I was pissed off, I was in a competition or a pissing match with somebody that I didn't like, and every single decision that I made was to the detriment of my company, my employees, and my customers, and above all, my personal finances. Uh, one example I can give of this is there was a competitor, I'm not going to say who, who was very jealous of me and was doing considerably better than me. It was really weird that we were jealous in spite of the fact that they were getting all the news coverage, they were showing up on CNN, New York Times, everything else, and I was still working out of my apartment, working out of the park. Finally got myself a store. It took three years to get myself a store. He comes in and he says, we would like you to close. We'll give you $80,000 to close. And, you know, if you don't close, we have all these new partners. And listen, I'm not a bad guy, but I can't say what they're going to want to do to your business. And like a week later, a city investigator came by claiming that this, that, and the other were claimed by somebody anonymous. It's like, I knew exactly what was going on. I knew exactly what it was. And I was mad. I opened up a store that was right near their store, uh, which cost me a lot of money, which was really stupid. Every single decision I made, every single thing I did was not based on me doing what was best for my business. It was based on what was doing what was worse for theirs. I wound up stealing an employee from them that honestly wasn't even a good employee that wasn't good at their job just because I thought that would take them off their feet. Like I wanted to get him back for reporting me to the city as blackmail after suggesting that I close or else. And I was mad. I made a lot of stupid decisions as a result of wanting to get back at this particular jackass. And they were to the detriment of my employees, detriment of my personal finances, and above all, de like, was I, can I really say that I'm focusing on my customers, I'm customer focused, I'm thinking about every ticket that comes in when I'm so mad at them? I wasn't even thinking about making money. I just wanted to screw somebody else who had screwed me. When I think about what's going on in these terms, it's finally starting to make sense to me. Because again, the, the people that are talking about, well, this is not really about the blind people, or this is not really about any of this. You know, shouldn't companies be have the right to make money? I don't think any of this has to do with making money because destroying all the third-party applications rather than working with them, adjusting the timeline a little bit, that doesn't make sense. I think one of these third-party app developers pissed him off so much that he came up with a framework to purposely destroy them. And I don't think he cares. I don't think he cares if that destroys his reputation. I don't think he cares if that messes with his website. I don't think he cares if that means a lot of users leave. I don't think he cares if that makes the website less accessible. And dare I say it, 
I don't even believe the CEO of Reddit cares if he loses money at this point. Because if he actually wanted the money, he would have come up with a way for many of these third-party applications to continue working with increased pricing. The third-party applications would have went, oh. The users would have went, oh. But let's be real. Again, like Apollo is an iPhone app. I've, people with iPhones tend to be more willing, I know, there's studies on this, to pay for applications than people on Android. They probably would have sucked it up and paid an additional dollar a month or something like that for something that they really liked that was a niche. Reddit could have printed money off of simply working with these developers in a way that made any sort of sense to them. And he decided not to. He decided to destroy all of the work that had already been built. He didn't care. And the thing is, I've been in this mindset before. And the reason that it bothers me so much, the reason that I'm so angry at the CEO, the reason that I have cursed him out in my prior videos is because at the end of the day, what we hate the most in others is, is what, what we've done ourselves. And God damn, I have done some stupid, petty, asinine garbage as a business owner in my early days in business when I didn't know any better, when I wasn't emotionally mature, when I wasn't mentally mature, and when I wasn't experienced, but I thought I knew it all because I'm 20 years old, damn it, and these old people are out of touch. I used to be here. I, like, I don't think I was to the same extent that this man was, but I've done this shit, and I can look back at like the early days 12 years ago and see where there are small elements of the way that this dude is acting that completely mirror some of the mistakes that I made in the early days of my business. And I think every business owner has been there if they've been in business for 15 or 20 or 30 years where an employee does something that's horrible, a vendor does something that's horrible, a customer does something horrible, a partner does something horrible, and your decisions stop being about doing what is best for the business, best for the finances, best for the customer, best for the employees, best for everybody involved, and it starts to become about this made me mad. I'm going to act on this thread of something that made me mad. It's kind of like road rage where like somebody does something and you don't care that you're going 117 in a 65. You don't care that that's a dangerous pass. You don't care that it's raining. It's I'm going to get that guy. And it's kind of like a dog chasing a car. It's like he doesn't even know what he's going to do when he catches it. Like with road rage, like what are you doing? It really, I mean, what? Okay, when you catch up to him, what are you going to do? Are you going to crash your car into him? You pay twenty to forty thousand dollars for your car. You're probably not going to do that because that's going to damage your car. It could hurt you. It could hurt the person inside the other car. It could hurt the kid that's inside the other car. You could get pulled over for it. You could go to jail. What are you doing? You don't know what you're doing, but it's like this weird lizard brain instinct. That's something in the brain that goes back to where we were hundreds of thousands of years ago. And I'm sure hundreds of thousands of years ago, that part of our brain that got really angry over these things and started acting in a certain way as a result. It probably made sense when you were a caveman holding a club and that dude just stole your food. Like, it probably totally made sense. In these cases, when you're in business, when you're trying to run a company, that little part of your brain will destroy you. That part of your brain will cause you to waste tens of thousands of dollars opening new locations that don't make sense, it's tens of thousands of dollars hiring employees away at higher salaries from your competitors just to screw them over because they threatened you and reported you to the city. And I'm telling you, if I could go back in time to 22-year-old Lewis, I would punch him in the face so hard that you would still see the scar in my eye right now. He was that dumb. And like, it's finally starting to make sense to me. Once I put everything they're doing into context, it all makes sense. These are the actions of somebody who has business road rage. Something has pissed him off. Somebody at one of these third-party app companies pissed him off so badly that he doesn't care if he burns down and torches his community, if he burns down and torches his finances, if he burns down and torches his reputation and user base. None of it matters. I genuinely don't believe this had anything to do with money because if this CEO were actually thinking about money, he would come up with negotiated arrangements with these app developers that allow them to continue to pay Reddit metric fuck tons of money while simultaneously continuing to exist. He would not be torching his own communities. He would not be saying, we are going to create an accessibility app that you cannot use with a screen curtain on. Like, let's be real. That's not leadership. That's a joke. To not put yourself in the shoes of your employees or your customers and to pretend that you're actually leading is a joke. This is business road rage. And my question to all of you is, have you ever had business road rage? Have you ever been so aggravated at something an employee did, a customer did, a vendor did, a partner did, that you didn't care the damage you did to yourself, your business, your reputation? You justified it the same way that that dude driving at 117 on a rainy highway because somebody cut him off or something doesn't really think it through as he justifies weaving around cars dangerously to catch up to somebody that he doesn't even know he's going to do something to. Is there anybody that you have in your business 
or your life that's going to tap you on the shoulder and say, let's talk about this. Let's go over this before you take any action or, you know, have a drink, go out with your girlfriend or whatever. Let's talk this out in the morning to make sure that you don't act while you're in that business road rage. Does anybody do that to Steve Huffman? Obviously not. This all makes sense now. Because again, this, this is the real red pill in life. The things you hate in other people are the things you see in yourself. Sometimes it's just really hard for people to look in the mirror. And I'll be the first to admit that that's 100% true for me. In fact, when it comes to business road rage, I might have read a ticket just yesterday that uh, put me in that mindset and we're, we're, we're going to be having a meeting. We're going to be having a meeting not at 11 o'clock this morning before we open. Seriously. Sometimes the things that you hate the most in other people, it's a great time to look in the mirror and see if you do it yourself. Business road rage. Yeah, and business road rage when you have as many employees as he does and you actually want to IPO? Well, it could cost you a lot more money. Especially if you don't have somebody to tap you on the shoulder. Say, hey, let's go over this a little bit before you fire half of the people that work at your company. <laughs> or screw over the entire blind community. Who holds you accountable? Do you have somebody to hold you accountable? in either your business or your personal life, to ensure that when you are about to make those types of stupid, dumbass decisions, that you get a punch in the arm and an assurance that's not the right way to go about it. And you're probably not in the state of mind to come up with the right way to go about it right now. Let's talk about it tomorrow. If you don't have that, you turn into spez. Nobody wants to be spez. You don't want to be spez. I don't want to be spez. Let's all make sure that we have people in our life to keep us from becoming spez. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.